So let's create a new material now, and suppose we want to assign it to a certain section of this geometry. Not the whole geometry, but maybe just one, this, just this one airbag in the front. So I'm going to switch back over to the matte context. So let's make a copy of the cloth. I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and drag it away to create a new one. I'm going to stop my IPR. And let's uh, say cloth white. We'll just make a, a white version of this cloth. So I'm just going to jump inside there, select the standard material, change the base color to white and scroll down and change the subsurface color to white. If you look at our cloth object here, there's uh, no real way to assign any other materials up here at the object level. The way we do it is be override it with a polygon selection on the SOPS level. So inside here, we're going to um, uh, create a polygon selection or a sl it's almost like creating a selection tag and then assigning material specifically to certain polygons. So let's look at how we can do that. I'm going to actually, uh, if you can see here now that I'm inside this network, I don't want to see any of the rest of the uh, geometry. So I'm going to go up here and say hide other objects. That kind of allows us to focus in on our geo here. And maybe I will, if, you're, if your camera, if you're locked to camera two, I'm just going to untick the lock so that we can kind of just get a different view of it here. From here, I can just uh, grab a, I can grab my selection tool like so um, on the left hand here, and make sure I've got polygon selection mode enabled here, where it looks like sort of like a, a diamond shape. And then if I just uh, drag a square through the scene, you can see that I make this little selection of polygons right here. And I could, um, I mean, that's not really useful if I wanted to color this whole bag. I guess we could use something like the lasso tool and maybe just draw. A little region where we would um, make our polygon selection like that and then from here if I hit the tab key and type material and hit enter you can see over here in the network that it has created this material node for us and if we select that we look and we see that the group selection is all these random numbers what are all these numbers these numbers are actually the numbers of the polygons uh, that that exist in this in this piece of geo. So this whole entire geo has polygons. Each polygon has a number, and the number of polygon that we selected is populated into this list. Um, so this is sort of like a non-procedural selection, uh, because if the topology changes or anything like that, this number mask is going to break. But what we can do for right now is just assign a material based off of the selection that we made. So let's just go and select our cloth white material and hit accept, and let's fire off another render going to turn off bucket mode. So we just get a progressive rendering. And you can see here that we now have assigned that white material only to those polygons we just selected in this group field right here. Now that's all well and good if you want to do your selections that way, but um, to me it feels a little bit sloppy. I mean, we don't have like a very clean edge here or anything like that. Now, wouldn't it be nice if there was some, you know, form of data on our geometry that could tell us which uh, piece was which? Well, we can check into that and see if there is. So let's go back over here to our, and grab our cloth object and hit this little I button. And you can see here we've got our, this is just sort of our info view that kind of tells us a bunch of stuff. How many points we have, we've got what attributes are available. And here we can see we've got point attributes, got position for point, uh, P for position. So that's just the position of every point. And then we've got this primitive attribute called name. And then we've got a vertex attribute for the UVs. This name attribute though, what is that? Um, basically a primitive attribute, uh, a name attribute is being assigned to every single polygon in our geometry. If we click on this name attribute, it turns on this visualizer for us. And this visualizer has no impact on our rendering or anything like that. It's just for visualization purposes. But it looks like this name attribute by visualizing it, it is actually um, signifying to me that there is a unique name attribute for each one of these airbags. So. Um, the name piece one is going to be assigned to every single polygon in piece one. The name piece zero is going to be assigned to every single polygon in piece zero and so on and so forth. So um, we can actually leverage this to uh, get our, um, to, to make our material uh, assignment selection. So let's actually just um, turn off the visualizer. So if you don't see that, I'm just middle mouse scrolling down here. This Google Maps icon, if I just uh, right click on that and untick name, it kind of just turns that visualizer off. You can see I've made a bunch of visualizers for this project. So um, what we can do is actually make a selection based off of that name attribute. And it's just kind of a little bit of a trick here, but if you have your selection mode selected here, so you got your selector here and you got your primitive mode selected here and we've got our marquee selection like so, 
we can go over to this other selection right here, and this is select groups or connected geometry. If we um, click on that, and then go to select mode and say select name attribute, you can see that we have the ability to select different chunks of this geometry. Uh, and you can see those names are reflected in this list right here. And so the one that we want is piece two. I'm just gonna click on piece two, and I'm gonna hit tab and type um, material again. And that's just gonna drop this um, down right here, like so. And you can see that the name has been assigned piece two, and then we can just grab our material cloth white and hit accept. And now we don't really need this other uh, material node. If we hit render, we can see that that, um, that that bag is now like very cleanly selected based off of that uh, that that um, name attribute that we're assigning right there. In fact, you can see the other name attributes from this drop down menu, but it's just a little bit more of a guessing game uh, to determine which uh, piece you want from this list. So doing the I like doing the visual selection when it's possible.